thanks for letting me come on the farm today and have a look at your solar irrigation system. What made you think of going solar? Uh, probably the economics of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, if we could get it to uh, cut down the cost of the power, we're obviously going to head towards power. Yeah. It was either power or diesel. Yeah. And probably the difference between the two was the fact that we could substitute it with the solar yeah. for a certain time during the day. Yeah. Which probably made it cheaper in the long run. Yeah. Than rather than diesel. Yeah. So, so you, reason. Yeah, okay. So you bought the farm six years ago, you were telling yeah. me. So how long after you had the farm did you sort of think about solar? Uh, probably two and a half years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Started so, looking into it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and just probably went to uh, to to um, your father's place for a start. Yeah, just okay. asked questions about, knew nothing about solar at all. Yeah. So, um, young bloke Matt there sort of filled me in on what was going on. Yeah. Um, probably the difference was not, not the price he told me it cost me, but when he told me I could get a rebate, which yeah. was basically half. Yeah. And then that made economical sense to sort of push forward to see if we could set it up that way. Well, talking about it before, and you reckon it was around 10 to 15 grand a year, you reckon you could save on electricity yeah. by using a solar system, yeah, roughly? Yeah, at, at the price, at the price of uh, power at the moment, Yeah. Um, and obviously it's during the day that we use the solar, yeah. it's pure, that's the dearest time of the day, you know, when you've got power, so, yeah. uh, you know, at night you can run it on, on uh, power for nearly half what you can during the day. So. Right. So, you know, to substitute that cost in the, in the daytime is, is probably the difference between making it economically possible yeah. to do it this way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, fair enough. Well, I was actually curious how you got onto the idea of solar. So, do you obviously, we've got family connections. You um, know my grandpa. Yep. Um, so, you knew my old man was doing solar. That's how you, you thought about uh, the idea. No, no. Initially, I didn't know until I walked into the room and found that it was... Uh, that he, he had a, a fairly good relationship with his um, with Norm, which my father had a great relationship with. Yeah. So I suppose it was partly we used, trusted one another from when we sort of we had common ground. Yeah. So I trusted him to tell me what was right. Yeah. What wasn't. Yeah. Right. And okay. And I, I found that yeah everything that was was told me is correct. Yeah. Yeah. No, good. So we get along fine. Excellent. <laughs> fair, fair enough. So after you paid for the system, what was the process with getting it installed? Uh, we did that ourselves just by getting a couple other farmers around, a couple yep. of mates. And, um, you know, one of them had a, a bit of knowledge in levelling out and um, squaring up. Yep. And another guy was, uh, he had the, he, he does fencing so he could put all the posts in. That's handy. Line all them up. Yep. And then we had a young bloke that works with us in the butcher shops, was a pretty handy, handy lad. Yep. So um, between him and one of my sons, they come out and put on all the panels on. Yeah, Which okay. is pretty straightforward because right. all the frames were already basically set up. Okay. So once you put one frame up, um, it was a matter of just duplicating all the time. Right. Uh, so then once that was all up, it was just a matter of then getting the electrician in to, to wire it all up. Yep. Um, that's an expensive side of it, but yep. uh, we knew all that before we started. We knew what those costs were, so we didn't have a blood. Probably the main thing is that when uh, when you go to do something like this, that you don't have a blowout in costs. Yeah. And uh, you know, and, and we and we didn't. Yeah. So that, that's that's a key to it. So no surprises. Yeah, no surprises. So so did um, did Commodore help with uh, giving you es what estimates of what it might cost, or you just worked out from your no, own no, investigations? No, no, no. They they give me the whole the whole cost of the whole lot. Yeah. So they said, um, okay, a well, sparky will probably cost yep, you uh, five yep, grand or what, whatever it is. Whatever it is. Yeah. Yep. That's that cost will be in there. Yeah. Um, and then we just worked it back to the rebate. Yeah. Worked out what we could get in that. Right, so we had a look at the irrigation system before. Um, I know you've already explained it to me, but so you've got that big irrigation pipe system out there. Can you just tell me a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, it's just a six inch PVC pipe that is set up right around the farm. Yeah. Uh, it's a 140 acre farm. Yeah. So we've got uh, 15 hydrants yep. set up so that the travel and irrigator can connect any one of those hydrants at a time. Yeah. Um, and then that that uh, that spray unit then will do 
um, you can you can slow it down, speed it up, but it'll at a rate of two, if you want to put roughly two inches of water on in an irrigation in one run, uh, that that particular machine with that pump setup will do um, about 200 metres wide by 80 metres, 200 long by 80 metres wide. Yeah, that's its coverage. Beautiful. Or two inch, so that'll take about eight hours yep. to do a run of that. Um, obviously, at the moment it's dry, so we're doing a four inch. Yeah, and so it takes twice as long. Yeah. And how do you find the system, like from the solar and that irrigation system? Does that does it all work well? Yeah, yeah, no, no, there's no problem with it. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, obviously, the the pump and the setup that we got works to that capacity of the solar system. Yeah. So. Right. And how much water does the system output per day? Uh, nearly two megalitres. Two megalitres. Yeah, two megs a day. Wow. Uh, the spear point that we've got pumps just on two megs. Yep. So uh, with the dam there, we have that as a backup, obviously. Yep. But yeah, basically the diesel pump pumps the spear point water out, yep. pumps it down to the dam, and then the setup from here we irrigate with it. Yeah. So yeah, roughly keeps up with one another at about two megs a day. Yeah, perfect. Would you recommend Commodore to other farmers that are looking to convert their uh, pump systems to solar? Yeah, I um, I didn't shop around too much. Yeah. Um, I found that uh, board was easy to get along with. Yeah. That the guys working in there, uh, when we had a bit of an issue, they were prepared to come out, check yep. things out, um, no charge. Yeah. Just um, to make sure that everything was up and going properly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you know, been out a couple of times, and you know, once it wasn't even anything to do with what their system had, but you know, at the time we couldn't work out what it was. So. Yeah. But yeah, no, they've been oh, yeah, very easy to get along with. Uh, explain things properly. So. Yeah, I've got a problem in promoting Boyd and, and Commodore. Yeah. Uh, as cost-wise, like I said, I did a lot of shopping around. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think the copies themselves just have to be aware that, you know, um, Boyd doesn't put them up. Yeah. We put them up. So, yeah. Uh, if you go to some of the others, they'll give you a quote, and that's that's the whole package all done and sealed. But, yeah. you know, I, I, I actually got another quote, and I was looking at, you know, instead of 65000 I was looking over 100000 Yeah. To have it erected in that. Uh, yeah. So, you know, that's, that's probably the difference. Yeah. Yeah, well, I guess the thing, what, what BD does differently to most places, most solar businesses, they source their uh, components or their solar from within Australia. Uh, BD sources it from overseas directly, so you're sort of skipping the middleman. Yeah. That's that's yeah. what he try and works on so that he can yeah. sell it yeah. at a reasonable price and he makes a dollar, the farmer yeah. gets a good price, hopefully. And yeah, well, that makes sense. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much for your yeah, time no, and no. having a chat today. No. Really appreciate it. Yeah, enjoy it. And yeah. hopefully little Norman grows up good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, he's awesome. You got that on tape? Yeah. <laughs>